Coming up on Great Day at 9A, this view over Middletown is going to look a little bit different. 24 hours from now, I'm going to be timing out Winter Storm Anthony in an early warning weather alert. Plus, on this Mommy Monday, we're diving deeper into a new parenting method called Fair Play <laughs> and how it lessens the burden usually that's placed on mom's shoulders. And motherhood is full of surprises and not always good ones. How one mom is hoping to keep other new parents from getting surprised with a massive bill after giving birth. And something sweet is in the air. Marcy is learning all about boiling and bottling maple syrup at a sweet wind farm. Mm. That's ahead on Great Day at 9A. Welcome to Great Day at 9A. Well, hello. Hello. Happy Monday. I'm all verklempt here. I think you're verklempt because you got a winter storm <laughs> I gotta, coming. I guess, you, know what, Mike, you know what, Fran? I got to tell you. <laughs> something's coming. What's coming? Snow. Tell Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. How was your weekend? Oh, it was great, thanks. That was good. Saw one of my best friends for the first time in three years. You're kidding. With her daughter. Oh, oh my God, it was that's so, so cool. Exciting. So Emmy met one of her new friends. Oh, how old is the? How old is that? Nine months. Oh, and my. Emmy just turned six months. God so. bless. Yeah. So they, got, they have a lot fun. in common. Where does she live? Where does uh, she she lives uh, in the Worcester area. Okay, very so good. It was oh, really cool. Happened. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I spent thing. a little time with Mother Haney. How was she doing? Good. We went supermarket shopping. She had me all over the place. She's she's a whip. You're the guy to take though if you go supermarket. Exactly. <laughs> it's like supermarket sweeps, though. She was yeah. running down the aisles. I was like, well, I got to catch up with her. That's She's almost good. 91. God bless her. God bless her is right. But anyway, so we got a storm coming. Yeah, you've been really busy. So, yeah. I mean, you know what? It's a storm coming in one of the first storms we've had this year, right? the first storms of the season. It's just unbelievable. Oh. I mean, like snow is just non-existent so far. But we're going to get a little snow. So let's take a look at our early one in dual pole radar. Um, you'll notice a little flurry activity over Putnam. It has nothing to do with the storm that we're dealing with that's coming. This is just a little blip. Uh, so if you see a couple of flakes up in Putnam, uh, up in uh, Wyndham County in Putnam, down through Brooklyn, don't be alarmed. It's not a big deal. Uh, we're not expecting any really snow to start flying until probably about 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Let's take a look at early morning future cast tomorrow's weather today. We're good. Today's a great day to run errands, Ooh. even for your evening commute. You are good. And then 5 p.m. tonight, you'll see mostly cloudy skies. And here comes the blue. Gets very close to Connecticut by 7 p.m. Now, by 11 p.m., it's pretty much snowing statewide. So between 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, it's going to be snowing. And it snows fairly moderate to heavy overnight tonight through very early tomorrow morning. And then we'll have snow during the day tomorrow. Won't be as heavy as it will be tomorrow morning during the day, but still enough snow to continue the accumulations. So we're expecting probably anywhere from four to six plus inches in central Connecticut, as much as six to 10 in parts of northern Connecticut up in Litchfield. All right, so for the remainder of the day though, Nicole, looking pretty good. Wow. Get out there and run your errands and I will have your three-day forecast coming up a little bit later on in the broadcast. And that does include the early morning weather alert for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right, communities are getting ready for winter storm Anthony right now. And the State Department of Transportation is all hands on deck to hands treat on. those roads. Yeah. yeah, plow trucks will be out starting tonight before the snow even starts. So if you see plows out, please remember, stay 300 feet behind them and take it nice and slow. For those of you who are going 300 feet, it's about three car lengths full. Yeah, absolutely. That's and, a good, that's a good, uh, good, good guesstimate. And pre-treated pre pre -treated roads is what I'm trying to say is going to help make the morning commute safe for drivers. Yeah, so that's some good news. Since this is an but since this is a overnight event, that gives us the flexibility to spend the day on Monday uh, making sure that our trucks are fueled up, that salt is put back into the uh, back of the truck beds, that all equipment is ready, that we have all the spare parts we need, uh, and that our mechanics are ready to go as well. You were going to say the same exact thing, I was right? going to say the same I, exact thing. You know, we, we're in kismet. <laughs> exactly. Or something like that. Uh, well, if you don't have it already, now is the time to download the Channel 3 weather app. So scan the code on your screen to get start it. the process. Get it, get it. Yes, you'll get updated snow forecasts. Time out the storm and see how much snow you could get in your town. So, Are you excited for the snow? I am actually a little yeah. bit excited. You know, I'm going to be working with, you know, Jill's coming in to help me out tomorrow morning. It's always great. I'm always grateful mm -hmm. for any help I can get in the morning because, you know, I'm pretty busy solo when it's not yeah. snowing and when the snow comes on in 
it's uh, it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. especially when it's coming in during the morning commute. So it's going to be a little little nutty here tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. but I'm looking forward to it. So and it should be fun. We live for these moments, right? We, give, yes. <laughs> give you that information. It's like the adrenaline's pumping in here. So look for the snowy label <laughs> when you are shoveling your driveway out loud. Sorry. <laughs> Good job. You're welcome. It's like Monday the Musical around here. <laughs> All right, there is a new tool to help people figure out if they've got the flu or COVID-19. Yeah, the FDA just approved this. It's 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 the first combination it's approved of a test for flu and COVID-19 that can actually be used right at home. This is really cool. Very convenient. The new Lucera home test is available over the counter. It's the same nasal swab test that we're all familiar with now. And results are in after about 30 minutes. It's 100% accurate for negative COVID results and 99% accurate for negative flu results. Hmm. And on the company's website, it sells for $99 per test, which is not cheap. Wow. Per test. Wow. Mm. Now, I looked online. Just the COVID tests yeah. are $35 okay. on their website. So the com combination is combination. 99 Yep. Wow. Well, for people who don't have health insurance, yeah, this is a great way. You know, we go to, we have to use our copays, right, if we do have health insurance. So, I yeah. I, I thought you were going to say 99 cents. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't think insurance covers this either yet. I don't know. Maybe they will. Would you use it, though? Uh, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Anything that can help me get a better test and mm -hmm. get, get a better handle, get a grip on things. Yeah, 30 certainly... minutes. 30 minutes Bad. is pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. $99, though. <laughs> still getting over that price. That's a pretty <laughs> steep price there. All right, Stone Academy students will get more information about what to do next after the school suddenly shut down this month. Yeah, the Connecticut's Office of Higher Education is hosting a three-day information fair starting today. So the fair will be held at the Higher Education Office right on Columbus Boulevard in Hartford. Stone Academy's closure left more than 800 nursing students without a way to finish their degree. Representatives from local schools and the state's community college system are going to be at the fair. <laughs> Students will also be able to get information to apply to get student loans discharged. The Attorney General is investigating the school's closure. We're going to continue to bring you the new information as it comes out on the air and on the Channel 3 app. Yeah, hopefully they'll get all the information that they yeah, need. Yeah, I know. I feel so, so bad for bad. those students, right? Absolutely. Oh, it's unbelievable. All right, we are switching gears now and talking about something really sweet. This wacky flip-flop in the forecast between spring and winter hasn't stopped a New England staple. Maple sugaring season's underway. Marcy Jones is at Sweet Wind Farm in East Heartland. Learning from the experts this morning. Hey, Marcy, you look hey. like a little snow bunny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, well, it is freezing in here, so it's appropriate for that kind of weather inside of the Sugar Shack. Take a look, you guys. As you mentioned, we're at Sweetwind Farm here in East Heartland. We're so excited to learn about the process behind maple syrup, from the tapping the tree to how it gets processed and then how it ends up in the bottle and hopefully on a huge stack of pancakes. Now, we're going to learn all of the in-between. Look at all of this industrious equipment. I don't even know what it does, but I'm excited to learn. We're going to be with Arlo, the man behind it all, and we're going to talk about all of the different products that you can make, including the sugars, the honey with a little bit of the syrup in it, as well as maple syrup candy, which is my favorite road trip crack, I like to call it. So we've got a lot to cover. It's all coming up, and we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. I thought when they heard, when I heard tap, Marcy, that you'd be tapping a cake. Egg, but I guess we'll save that for one Wednesday. <laughs> Lots of things you can tap, Scott. We'll get into that in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks, Marcy. All right. Well